Hey, look, I'm Carson. Look, I'm me and your mom. Uh, look, I'm Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome into today's video. It is your man, Wickstrom. We have a really interesting video for you guys today, and I hope you actually listen to my ideas and comment yours. So let's get right into it. Oh, oh, oh. Things that could make Fortnite truly good again. Number one, it would be nice to be able to play with our own platform um, and not be in skill-based matchmaking. So we can title this one, remove skill-based matchmaking or just go back to our own platform and have skill-based matchmaking. But why do I say this? Most creators see this as a problem and even casual people as skill-based matchmaking has actually made Fortnite a little worse i enjoy the game still but for what i see for most people that is a problem that is an issue but my other reasoning for why we should play with our own platform is because like for example people know i'm a nintendo switch fortnite player and streamer and i loved it when i did random duos and if i was in random duos i know that i was gonna get someone from my chat to be my partner <laughs> You're watching my stream. I, I got in. No what's way. Up? What's up? Yo, what's up, bro? Like, that's how that's how small our community was in a good way. I loved it. So, like, we did random... I did random duos, not custom games, just with the chat. And when I did that, I would find someone I knew or someone that knew me. And that was the best part about random duos and playing with our own platform because I got to play with and against my community and I truly miss that so hope you guys agree with that one and let's move on to number two finally fixing the FPS I made a video that got over 200,000 views about why they should fix the FPS on the Fortnite switch Eric MZ made a video replying to it eventually Atomic and even Cothcap made a video about it too I made it way back when and then they all followed so which was good I'm glad they made it I'm glad they got the idea and decided to make it so in between all of our videos there's probably over a million views in that one subject about fixing the fps i know that fortnite can do it it's very possible they just need to add a graphic setting like mobile even has and, and pc it just allow us to lower shadows lower everything anti-lacing whatever i don't even know what i'm saying but just lower the aspect ratio if anything just we need graphic settings, just finally fix it, and I promise that more people would enjoy it and not complain. Number three, we need more skin tournaments, like platform skin tournaments. Um, recently I just barely streamed the PS4 skin tournament, which was fun, and then three months ago I streamed the Japan Cup Nintendo Switch skin platform tournament which was also fun which got like 20,000 views thank you guys even probably more i'll have to look at it i'll show it on screen but those gave everyone a reason to want to play it doesn't even have to be money based we just just do like an incentive to play in the tournaments that was pretty cool i think that brings a lot of people on the game because they're like oh we get a free skin if we play good let's do it and <laughs> that's good and following that Freaking don't release the skin in the item shop! Like, come on! If you're gonna bring the skin out for a platform tourney where you can only earn the skin in the tournament by getting a certain amount of points, don't release it in the shop. Good gosh. Anyway, number four, events like the good old times. I loved when Fortnite did events, and I don't mean events as in competitive events. I'm relating right now to seasonal events, so... Like, the big fight that went on, um, the rocket launch, the, the huge ice animal cave thingy, that, whatever, just like, and the ice king, and it just, all this stuff that, it just got Fortnite so hyped, and so talked about, I loved that, I still do love the game, just, I sound like I'm talking bad about it, I'm just telling you what I think could make this game better, if you guys agree with these, by the way, you gotta comment, Drop a like, by the way. <clears throat> Number five. We need items or guns that are weird again. Like, not just basic stuff. Like, I, I enjoyed the basic stuff for a little bit, but then it's been, like, over six months that I am kind of wish that we had other things. Like, I love the flintlock because it wasn't a basic gun. It's, like, an old 
freaking sea of thieves type of weapon which is really cool um it it just like and not it brought you up in the sky so like you could go for really cool shots with it and i don't know that was just a fun weapon or like the shock waves and its little baby these other grenades just like it all these things were so much fun to use it made the game great and uh, in my opinion that would just bringing this kind of stuff back would be a banger a banger so my last two things actually relate together so i'm gonna count it as one proximity chat like we need it would be cool to have proximity chat like all these games that have proximity chat in my opinion were actually freaking dope proximity chat is probably something that fortnite doesn't want to add because of trash talk but if anything it would make for such good content Oh, fuck you, faggot. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! <laughs> how are you- how are you not in fucking school? You kiss your mother with that mouth? It's called you ki- it's called you kiss your mother with that fucking mouth? Huh? Oh my huh? god, why are you so angry? <laughs> because the fucking youth of society- <laughs> You shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! And there's a forever, never-ending- scale of content with proximity chat because you can always meet somebody that would do something different and maybe they don't want teaming but they can still keep the rules of teaming and just like just so you could talk to them or like my my second reason that i said also involved with it call of duty has done this for like five years when you kill somebody on call of duty you can hear them you guys if you guys want to hide like bitches i'll just cap the play <laughs> You can literally hear them. You can hear the enemy. Like on Cyber Attack or Search and Destroy on Call of Duty, you kill somebody, you can hear them. They they slur at you or swear at you, but that's what makes it fun. But sometimes it's like GG. Like they just say a quick little GG because you can hear them for like a short little five seconds or so. Or they'll be like, you f you know, s some swear words, which is funny. That's what, it's content based and it's fun. It's fun. It makes the game fun, you know? My last part, speaking of Call of Duty, is kill cams. Imagine Fortnite with kill cams. Like, I know it would take more processing power, so you don't need to add it on the Switch just yet. If they do my number two thing, fixing the FPS and fixing it, then this could work. We need a kill cam. I don't want it to be like a whole... <laughs> the whole two minutes of a fight if it if the guy's good I just want it to be from when you died the last 10 seconds of your fight and that would be cool That would be so cool like a kill cam. I hope you guys didn't can agree with these reasonings um, We got some we got another video coming out this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it I love you guys that still support my content Also, I posted that I was gonna make a call of duty video on my community page and you guys said you would like to see it over 100 people liked it, so I'm going to be uploading that soon. And I don't know when exactly, but it will be. So appreciate if you guys put on notice. And honestly, just thank you for watching the video. For real. Love you.